It's something natural. We all do it, even astronauts. But the method they use is a bit different, and luckily things have improved from a pretty messy past. Yes, we're talking about pooping. The subject may be taboo, but it's something we do every day, and this created a bit of trouble for scientists when they were in the early stages of space exploration. What started out as having nothing at all slowly evolved to taping a plastic bag to your behind. As you can imagine, this proved to be a bit difficult in a zero-gravity environment, because in this case, what goes down usually comes back up. Up until the Apollo, uh, the Apollo era, the, the astronauts had to use these little baggies, and it was like a real kind of ick factor uh, uh, to, to using the restroom in space. They actually didn't have a room uh, in them. Uh, they went behind a bunch of seats, you know, basically, and hoped everyone else looked the other way. During the space shuttle missions, technology improved, and now the astronauts use something that looks a lot like what you have at home. The only difference is they use air pressure to simulate gravity, but things didn't always go as planned. There was like an, a mission um, on the space shuttle where the fan on the toilet was actually installed the wrong way, and uh, when a Ricky astronaut went to use it, it kind of blew everything back up instead of sucking it all back in. And, and uh, that was a, a pretty embarrassing situation. Well, at least they have the ability to bathe in orbit as well. That's how we could have ended this piece, but... In space, no one can hear you poop. Poop, the final frontier. Houston, we have a colon. It's one small poop for man, one giant... I can't do that one.